uh, our class will be uh, will be separated by uh, uh, on um, on how how good we did the exam. So I think um, that will be after the result. Okay. Do you know why? Uh, that the school need to wait until the results. You study a uh, logistic major, but they need to uh, wait and based on the result uh, to decide where which class uh, you would attend. Do you know why? Guess what? Um, uh, I don't know, but maybe it's for uh, better teaching. Like they know what level you are and they... Uh, can manage to uh, teach you the thing that you can understand. Uh, understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you study uh, the English curriculum in your major, which means all the lessons are given in English. Uh, so you study with some students, you are good at English, you have no difficulty studying during the lesson in English, but some students who are not qualified for the level, so they need to study the basic English until they enter studying the major. So don't worry about that. You are at approximately B2 level. So if you can pass the test approximately 60 to 70%, I think it's okay for you to start continue studying an English program. So don't worry about that. Just the kind okay. of small test. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, but if you uh, this week you have been uh, this week you you uh, are not uh, studying at school so spend most of your time a day uh, access to the website I sent to you and practice listening and reading I think it's okay for you to do the writing test but you need more uh, vocabulary uh, as long as you can speak out as long as you can communicate fluently so you have more ideas for your writing test do listening oh. test and reading test okay okay uh, today we continue uh, i will correct uh, the exercise listening test have you finished that yes okay wait a minute And the test is easy or it's normal to you? Uh, which is it test? more difficult? This one, listening test. Uh, I think it was uh, kind of easy. I can do uh, that at once. Uh, uh, in once. Okay. In once. It's been at once. At once. Oh, okay. <laughs> at once. At once. Get up immediately. Uh, after one's time listening to, right? Yes. So the the I guess the um, the entrance test of English skills is approximately this book because this book for B two level. I think it's okay for you to do listening test. Even you make some mistake, don't worry. Everything has uh you know the sentence something happens for the reason. You know yes, the yes. sentence. Ah, uh, okay, yes. it's good. Mm. Oh. If in the past you don't study IELTS with me, just focus on grammar. So today you have difficulty in start uh, taking the test in the format of IELTS. Okay, something happens for the reason. In the past you studied, so now I think you can perform quite well in the text. Now, uh, I will not tell me the answer. Number one. Is uh, B, Lancaster Road. Uh, correct. Number two. Um, is C. C. Tell me the uh, number. Um, is uh three hundred and forty thousand pounds. Okay. Number three. Is um have sold their house A. Okay. Have sold their house. Um. This one already. Number four. Um, uh, is A, the bank does not check the house quickly. The bank has not checked the house quickly. It makes it longer. So look for the information. 
is um the sentence uh, send someone to check the house in good condition and at the right price then how about the keyword does not check the house quickly the the keyword is quickly so why why may it take longer to sell the house why so we would look for the keywords take longer oh this one yeah oh oh, oh so it's um part of the house uh like the roof might be in bad condition maybe uh so there are two now if if there are problems okay for example or the the reason the reason that make it longer to build in this in this uh just so okay i give you one minute to scan the test this one scan the the, the passage the short passage Um, have you got the details for that? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, is, um, or there might be plans for a new road in the local area. Mm, so, this one. Uh, B. B, correct. Building. Uh, building is mean the new road. New road. How about new house? Local area. Isn't there are two reasons? The first one problem, the second problem about the house, the second one plans for new road. B is the okay. correct answer. Number five. Um is A increased her offer. Mm, keyword. Look, look uh, for this is, one. Tell me the keyword. Is um put in a higher quick higher quickly. Mm. Uh, is um blind for Life where uh, if they don't need to put in a higher one quickly, okay. This will give a uh, more a higher higher prices, higher price. Okay, uh, correct. You get for answer. Now we move to the next lessons. Uh, speaking test. Uh, this one. Uh, now repair to me. Architect architecture. Architecture. Uh, monument. Monument. Uh, okay. Architecture. What does it mean? Do you know this one? Can you explain in this in, in English? Uh, no, but I can in Vietnamese. Okay, tell me the meaning. Um, is it in uh, That's right. This is in terms of um, building something. Uh, maybe building a building. Uh, this means uh, creating a building, making something related to the building. So we say, uh, uh, how about the monuments? Uh, I think it's the graves. Uh, uh, it's someone like um, for the dead person, a uh, people. Uh, so they will build a figure, a figure yeah. for, we just say the figure. Ha, the figure for someone uh, who was in the past uh, and uh, to remember, to commemorate, commemorate. This means to remember someone uh, in the past or remember, commemorate a member or the event. Like we have uh, Uncle Ho, Uncle Ho monuments or some kind of soldier monuments ah, okay to remember to commemorate the person or the past events ah. 
Look at the first picture. Can you describe this one for me? Describe the first picture. I would give you this, the monuments, okay? The trees, the boats, the sailboat. This, the, the shore, the shore. Uh, the bench, two bars. Okay, tell me how to describe the picture, please. Um, at first, when we see, when we look at the picture, we see a bench with two bluebirds on it. And mm -hmm. um, further in the back, we see a monument about some old man. Uh, mm -hmm. When we look at uh, behind the monument, we see some trees and um, we can uh, barely see a boat in the maybe some lake near near there. Uh, barely seems it's difficult to see from the distance. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, how about picture two? Is in the mountainous area or in the coastal area? Uh, mountainous. Maybe ah, uh, mountainous, mountainous area. Mm -hmm. Area. Um, we see uh, we can see a curvy curly road, uh, in the middle of the the picture, and uh, the road leads to. We have some uh, a lot of, uh, buildings that have the same design, mm -hmm. and uh, some kind of building that I don't know how to talk about. And mm -hmm. uh, at the back of the picture, we see some mountains, some big mountains. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you say the river, a coral, right? You, you mean the river coral? Okay. So we will uh, say uh, 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 a winding river, like this one. Okay. Uh -huh. Like this one. Uh, right. Winding river. And this kind of building, but you look at the roof. This is the people, the local houses, huh? local residence houses, not a building, only one, one, one stair, one floor. Yeah. So we can say the houses, the houses, uh, the houses. And this is like the building. This look like a factory. Ah, uh, like a big factory. So the picture is in the mountainous area. Picture is, uh, the picture depicts, you use the word depicts, depict is mean, uh, describe, uh, depict, describe the mountainous area where there are a uh, village, a village um, with houses and the factory. Uh, what do you think about the environment in this place? Is the greenery and peaceful place or is polluted area? Uh, uh, it's a like greenery and peaceful place. It feels, mm -hmm. maybe it feels um, like we, we can relax there and don't worry about the uh, pollution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's in the natural, you can say it's uh, in the natural Natural setting is meant in the nature, in nature, natural setting. Uh, as usual, we just see the factory in the, uh, in some modern, like uh, in some modern areas, such as in the industrial zone or in the city. But now you see the factory in the mountainous area. Ha. So this is, this uh, evoke, huh? evoke, evoke uh, the oh. ideas of uh, industrialization, industrialization and uh, community development. So look at the factory and the houses in the mountainous area. Uh, what do you think about the industrial train? Yeah, in this place. Sorry, can you repeat? Ah, what do you think about the industrial train in the mountainous area? 
industrialization oh, okay. supports improve the people life or just cause some damage to the local areas life well i think industrialization is a good sign of um the society going um becoming richer like it can um increase the um, employment employing rate but mm. uh Actually, I don't. I don't like the industrialization because I think, uh, it. Okay. Trời ơi, nó có bị ao da hoài không biết bị gì nữa. Mạng yếu đó. Mạng gì á? Wi-Fi hay 4G? Mạng yếu mà đâu. Đây quăng nữa rồi. Được chưa? Ê, ê, ý là còn 4 g mà nó cứ ao ra ngoài ấy. 4 g nhưng mà gói bao nhiêu mới được á? Gói nhiêu vậy? Có 5 g Ủa 5 ngàn, 5 ngàn. Trời, 5 ngàn là sắp hết mạng rồi. Nè, nè. Em 5 ngàn nữa mày Trời ơi, tao mua năm hồi nãy tao mua mười ngàn đi là được năm ghi học 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 năm được năm ghi là vừa xem phim xong rồi được xem phim nữa năm ghi là học mất khoảng ghi hai ghi là còn ba ghi xem còn năm nghìn là hình như có Trời có có năm trăm mê à trời ơi tôi ghê đang nè. học điện cấp điện cấp điện hả rồi 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 máy công bên không cấp điện con mấy bình thường mấy bình thường quăng nữa <cười> trời hả hết bình hết 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 ghi đó đang đăng ký đang đăng ký đăng ký vô trời ơi đăng ký gọi đăng ký cái gói nha hai hai trăm nghìn á hai đứa xài chung cũng được mà hai trăm nghìn một tháng vài bữa vài bữa hồ chí minh mà bị ngập lụt hay là hồ chí minh nè hồ chí minh mà bị ngập mưa hoặc là bị ngập mưa nhá hoặc là hoặc là dịch dịch covid nó lên lại nha covid nó vẫn còn nó hoặc là dịch gì đó trường sẽ chuyển sang phương án là học online mà lúc đó mà không có mạng học Đang, hoặc là đang học giữa chừng mà bị văng ra Giảng viên dễ không nói Mà giảng viên mà khó á Điểm danh là vắng mặt nha Mà vắng 3 buổi là quá đó bị cấm thi đó Mua cái gói Cái gói không biết Cái gói Viettel nhá VB200 Lên mạng tìm Cái gói này áp dụng cho các số thuê bao Đăng ký từ năm 2023 Viettel Viettel từ 2023 Cái gói mà 200 nghìn một tháng đó, Một ngày có 5 một ngày có nhiều ghi ta à một ngày có tám ghi trời ơi hai đứa xài thoải mái luôn nhưng mà dành cho dành cho cái thuê bao đăng ký từ 2023 nha hồi bữa tôi xài này để tôi dạy học một ngày là bốn trăm lớp á tám ghi dùng được hai đứa luôn mua tám ghi rồi xe ra có văn đi văn lại nhau nghe nói rõ không trời nó văn nữa rồi
cho văn hoài vậy đây trở lại rồi đây có mạng chưa rồi mới đăng ký thôi đó. nè đăng đăng cái gói này nè cái gói này tám ghi hai trăm nghìn một tháng chia ra hai đứa giàu đứa trăm nghìn tám ghi chạy mạng mạnh học thoải mái luôn lễ trên trường có học online thì vẫn học mỗi được ngày hả một ngày tám ghi tám một tám tháng ghi mỗi ngày hả ồ một, một ngày tám ghi một tháng là hai trăm bốn mươi ghi mà 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 gói cước là hai trăm nghìn nha hai trăm nghìn tám chụp lại ghi chụp chia lại ra chụp về lên trên mạng xem chụp gì đâu rồi rồi không ý là kêu bạn chụp nhưng mà nhưng mà cái, cái thuê bao điện thoại đăng ký từ không hai nghìn hai mươi ba mới 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 được ưu đãi này nha còn cái điện thoại mà thuê bao trước hai nghìn hai mươi ba là không có ưu đãi này đâu và bữa mới mua sim mới sao để đăng sao ký không hai nghìn hai được đó thì hai nghìn hai mươi ba trở mới mới về mới bây làm giờ được đã thì đó ồ Bánh xìu ok nào ok Tôi cứ tôi xin rồi Tôi bảo là rồi xin rồi mà Được chưa rồi rồi Một rồi ngày rồi 8 ghi rồi ok Hai ok đứa học thoải mái Trời học ngoại ngữ Học chiều nay Vài bữa ở trường nó, nó nó cho học online cho thấy Lỡ bảo vô đó Bảo vô rồi Một là đó, Nói chung làm gì cũng Phải có mạng Lỡ còn liên lạc Người thân này kia Rồi Cái phái này mà đâu người ta Đã chứ nha Ok. Nó lại đi. À so uh, I think a um, in a industrialization is a good sign of the um, the country getting richer but um to uh, me personally I don't like um industrialization especially in the mountainous area because um you see Uh, the factories damage and cause not numerous um numerous damage to the environment um uh, also the people live in the area so uh, and not only mm -hmm. we have to worry about how to uh, how to choose a um correct a uh, yeah, yes correct uh, area for industrialization But we also need to uh, um, to think about the problem properly to make sure that the uh, industrialization doesn't cause uh, doesn't harm the uh, society and uh, people. So we need to worry not only about the damage is caused to the environment, but also about the. Uh... The people, the society. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Okay, somehow, in my opinion, I have a uh, little difference. For example, uh, you know, it's very difficult to uh, build and form an industrial zone in the remote areas like a mountainous area. So, uh, a factory uh, a factory built in this place is a good sign for Uh, the employment rate is create more jobs for the people. In terms of environmental concerns, I agree with you that uh, it will cause some uh, pollution to environment if we don't process uh, and handle well in with that uh, problem uh, to make sure that it bring good benefits uh, for the citizen there, creating more jobs. The government should uh, have the proper or uh, suitable resolutions to deal with the pollution which may be caused by the industrialization. Okay, how about the last picture? You see the buildings, the lake, uh, the sailboats, the mountain. Uh, so in the color of green and blue. So what is your feeling about this? I think um uh, it look good with the color combo, and it looks good with the color combo. And uh, even though um it is a uh, industrial uh area, but it doesn't look harmful. And 
kind of environmentally friendly. Okay. Uh, and I give you two words. Uh, the first one, the buildings. Uh, the buildings, several buildings, tall buildings, line up uh, uh -huh. along the waterfront. Waterfront, this means uh, the area nearest, like this one. Uh, waterfront, this waterfront. And uh, the boat, you know, nail, right? And we would say anchor. Oh. Anchor. Uh, anchor is uh, cái nail. And it's also the verb. So you say the boat anchors or the boat is anchor. Huh? Sorry, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Tell me this. So I use this one. Word. Okay. So, uh, the some boats uh, are anchored. Anchored. It are anchored. Uh, in the. Uh, in the river. In, in the, the river. Oh. River. Okay, mm -hmm. and you you told me it's the combo of colors, green and blue. And this bring you the, so what are you feeling? The feelings kind uh, of. Uh, uh, it makes me feel like, I, it uh, brings me a uh, refreshing feeling. And uh, um, even though it's um, just about industrial uh, lightation, but it looks like, um, so um, it's like, a cartoon for me and I feel uh, um, I feel like I uh, I love this combo color a uh, color combo yeah. okay combo of colors um, you also write match um, matching colors combos matching color and uh, you can use the word oh, yes. um, a kind of peaceful okay peaceful and another word okay Idyllic. Huh. Idyllic. This means this one. Peaceful and idyllic uh, feeling when you look at the picture. So it's near the seaside, maybe near the lake, maybe near the seaside. Now repeat to me this one one more time. Anchor. Anchor. The no sound, huh? Anchor. Anchor. Uh, idyllic. Oh. Idyllic. Okay, idyllic. Uh, if I give you um, the right to choose, which place would you prefer to live? Let me see. One, two, three. Between, between which? Among three pictures. Among three pictures. Which area oh. would you want to spend okay. your life? Well, I think uh, my favorite bit, uh, place to live is the picture one because uh, we can see a lot of natural sign in the uh, natural pictures in the picture. And uh, well, I like a uh, comfort life. So I think living a, a, in a countryside with uh, which is cl close to natural would um, suit me the best. Okay, close to nature. For example, such as the natural park. And sometime after working hours, spend time strolling along the street, go to the park and enjoy uh, the peaceful atmosphere. Uh, okay, let's, let's talk about your hometown. Let's talk about your hometown. Uh, are there any features in the picture that you can see in your hometown like the river the mountain uh, the buildings the boats and any park like this oh yes uh, so i can see a um, river is kind of similar to the one that we have in our hometown it's called cầu ở gì sông đại hỏi gì sông lòng sông sông lòng sông Yes, okay. and um, I can see a um, 
some kind of link or see in the picture three and um, is a similar point. A uh, similar feature in my hometown, we have a seaside and um some harbor. And some uh, the harbor picture, uh, the the the, the uh, yes at uh, the harbor and the figure um uh, we have a lot of monuments for the war heroes from the past in our town too mm, and the mountains. Okay. Ah, so the mountain. So this means our your hometown is a perfect collection, <laughs> right? You can see the river, the mountain, right. the ocean, and a lot of buildings of natural parks. Your hometown includes lots of natural features. A, a perfect collection where you can see both beautiful scenery from in the mountain and in the ocean. Yeah. So, so do you feel proud of your hometown? Sorry? con 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 ba g con bốn g không trở lại vô đây là bao nhiêu mê mà học mà chạy đi chạy vô hoài vậy không biết luôn mới đăng ký thêm năm ngàn trời năm ngàn nó có năm trăm à, mê à mà mười ngàn thì có tới năm ghi đã năm kia đó mình đi đâu ấy, coi 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 đăng ký mười ngàn, đăng ký mười ngàn mà, hả? Ờ, hỏi 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 nói đi, cô có đăng ký bị lộn kênh không hay là đăng ký một cái điện thoại mà dùng một cái điện thoại khác? À, đăng ký đâu, bằng điện thoại mà có ai gọi? Ừ. Nếu có người gọi điện, nếu có người gọi điện cái điện thoại đó đang dùng điện thoại thì 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 mạng sẽ bị băng đó là nó không được dùng điện thoại hả không dùng mạng thì không sao nhưng mà nếu có người gọi tới là cái cái sim nó hoạt động đó, thì cái phần mạng nó sẽ bị ngắt đi hiểu không không một ai gọi luôn không ai gọi còn lại năm nghìn một trăm hai mươi mb nè hôm bữa gọi đi cho mẹ chưa gọi hả ví dụ quay phải hả không ví dụ cái giường á rồi gọi rồi ớn lạnh lắm hôm qua nó kêu uh, nó nằm á xong nó kêu nó dọn chằng nhà nó thấy cánh tay gì quá tập phát trời ơi trời sao tối tôi hết giống ngủ luôn có giá Ở gì không mười một mười một giữ mà nó kêu nó thấy cánh tay bóng cánh tay ở trên chằng nhà năm mươi gì đẹp à trời lắm giờ tôi hết giống đi <cười> ấy là ấy là hồi nãy tỉnh nó trông nó trông như vậy hồi bữa mẹ có ấy không như là mình mình đi Sài Gòn mình học á là mình ở nhờ chỗ người ta nhưng mà ở đâu cũng vậy hết mình tới là mình phải lái ví dụ là này mình không biết thì mình nói là tụi con ở xa mới vô là tụi con chỉ có không có điều kiện cho nên là chỉ có ở đây để tụi con học thôi nên là có gì mà tụi con không biết á thì xin bỏ qua cho tụi con phù hộ cho tụi con đó rồi 
Mà về sau nhé, về sau mà đi tới cái nơi nào ở ấy, thì phải làm hai việc. Việc đầu tiên á, là gõ cửa xin phép. Tức là mình vô mình phải xin phép là à, hôm nay là người đó của con tới đây là để ở nhờ qua. Tụi con chỉ là người tới ở, ở, ở đỡ thôi. Ở tạm thời gian cho tụi con học hành thuận lợi trên đó. Phù hợp cho tụi con bình an này kia, đừng có chọc phá này kia. Đó, là giải người ta. Rồi mẹ có nói gì nữa không? là phải kêu là kiểu như mình cũng cũng ở trong nhà người ta nên là nên là xin phép chủ nhà là để đi lên trên nhà tổ người ta rồi thắp hương này kia đồ thì hồi nãy nó bình ấy rồi nhưng chưa Ừ. Hồi đó chị ở, 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 ở nhà người ta, nhà ta cũng có cái nhà tạp tổ Nhưng mà chỉ mình mình lên bán như kia mà kiểu như là người ta không cho mình lên đi Thì mình cũng ngồi ở trong phòng mình giấy ấy, hiểu không? Tại vì mình ở xa tới, mình ở mình nói là tụi con chỉ là những người ở khu xa tới thôi Tụi con chỉ là người tha hương xứ người tụi con học hành để kiếm việc làm cho tương lai thôi Cho nên là phù hợp cho tụi con chứ Tụi con có làm gì mà lỡ lỡ như là phạm lỗi hay gì đó Tụi con cũng là người bình thường không có biết Cho nên là xin bỏ qua cho tụi con nó như vậy á Mẹ có nói cúng hay gì đâu không bà không kêu vậy đã bà kêu là cũng kiểu như cũng nhà của người ta luôn á nên là có tới ngày thì người ta cũng cúng chứ mình cúng chứ đâu mà kêu là uh, thắp nhang rồi giá gì thôi Hồi đó ở lần đầu đó nha, ở lần đầu thì đông người Mà lần thứ hai là tới cái chỗ kia, con bé kia nó, nó bị Nói chung là nó bị mấy cái gì đâu không mà đứt tay chạy máu luôn Xong thấy gì là tháng nào có tới dầm nó cũng cúng hết Về sau thì chuyển lên chỗ khác thì không có cúng nhưng mà lâu lâu thì cũng không điện này kia Tùy mình á, nhưng mà ví dụ giờ mình, mình giải đi Mình giải đi rồi đó, tụi con cũng nghèo chứ không có gì hết. À, gì đó, tụi con cũng nghèo không có gì hết. Tụi con chỉ là ở đây thôi à, để học hành thôi. Chứ tụi con cũng không có làm gì sai trái hết. Cho nên là phù hộ cho tụi con. Rồi, đó. Rồi, à, được thì à, mấy đứa ở nhà giờ nào rảnh rảnh không làm gì á. Mà không có mạng đâu mà mở. Mở kinh địa tạng lên. Còn mong cho người ta siêu rót á. Được không mới có thời gian này chứ mấy ở mấy ngày nay chứ nhiêu nhưng nếu mà mình không Cảm ơn mình không cúng mình không cúng được nhưng mà mình nói đi tụi con nghèo lắm tụi con cũng là sinh viên nghèo thôi ở đây ở đỡ để tụi con học hành để sau này lo cho tương lai thôi tụi con có làm gì sai hay là lỡ có cái thất lễ thì xin bỏ qua cho tụi con nói gì đó rồi niệm phật rồi vô nhé yeah. được thì mở kinh mở kinh lên kỳ tản nói là cầu gọi là mở kinh lên thì nói là con xin à, cầu nguyện cho những người ở đây được sớm ngày được siêu thoát nó vẻ hồi nãy giờ cứ văng nhau văng vô hoài tôi mở cho gà luôn á ở đâu cũng có Cảm hết chứ không phải ở đâu cũng có hết chứ không phải là mình ở đây có chỗ khác không chỗ nào cũng có hết cho nên là mình bị để ý là mình đi tới đâu thì mình cũng phải xin tiếp người ta là mình tới như như vậy đó rồi trời ơi cứ văn ngoài đăng ký cái gói đó đi cứ lắc nhắc lắc nhắc tốn tiền lắm á ví dụ cứ lần học mà 10 nghìn tháng học 8 buổi hết tám chục nghìn rồi giờ mình đăng ký 200 trăm nghìn chi đôi ra đứa đứa trăm nghìn mà thế tám ghi ngày đứa xài bốn ghi bốn mươi cũng được không có sao làm cái gì phá phá hoại thì bốn mươi cũng đủ để học tiếng anh đó học cái gì đó học ok continue ok I look at the picture uh, how many people are there in the picture um, there are two women in the in the picture So, uh, this is in the context that uh, of uh, the I am speaking uh, examination. Uh, so there are two people. Can you guess who is the candidate and who is the examiner? Um, I think the lady with um, the purple suit 
is the mm -hmm. examiner because um I think I, I see she's holding some paper. Maybe it's the mm -hmm. paper that contains the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, questions, great. And this is a candidate. Uh, how about the examiner's um, facial expressions? Is she polite, happy, or strict and uncomfortable? I think she's like um she's um, I think I can see she's smiling, so I think mm. she's a a comfortable people to work mm. with. Mm. And the candidates, you cannot see her face. Just look at her post, right? Her post, the the way she sits, uh, sat up in front of the examiner. Guess what? Is she confident or not confident? I think she's um she's feeling a little bit nervous because she's holding up her hand, and um, mm -hmm. that's what I do when I feel uncomfortable and nervous. Okay. So the first one, the first tip, uh, when you take a test, relaxed, be confident. To because uh, when you are confident and you feel comfortable, you can think of perfect ideas or uh, many reasonable or better ideas to support your answers. Okay, the first one is be more confident. Uh, for example, when you take a test, don't think of the situation happening in your room. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, no, I don't let you listen to this one. I skip that. But then ask another question. Do you like uh, staying at home most of the time? Or do you like uh, going out and shopping? Well, it's um, up to... Uh, well, it's it, um, it based on... Um, how many is uh, money I have? Uh, how much money I have at the mm -hmm. moment? But most of the time, uh, most of the time, I'd like to stay at home and um, spend time with my uh, friends. Do you spend time shopping in on holiday? Uh, yes, on uh, um, some shopping holiday like uh. Like we have a lot of sales on that day. Uh, this means on special day when the number of the date is uh, the same as the number of the month. Yeah, oh, yes. example, uh, September the 9th, August the 8th, uh, set, um, July the 7th, okay, etc. Um, do you shop online or offline at that time? Um, I at that time I just shop online because um we we don't have um, sales and in uh, offline I we don't have sales when we shop offline on that day. Ah okay, so you hunt for the sales online. Ah oh yeah. Is there a shopping center in your hometown? Shopping center, so. shopping mall. Mm. No, no. You don't think so? Oh, that's all. Yes. <laughs> so why? Because um, I don't see any at my hometown. Mm, I don't see any shopping center in my hometown. It's just a small village. Um, yeah, okay. it isn't developed um, completely. There's some small supermarkets. In that play, but I think it takes more time. Uh, approximately five or ten years later, we would have a shopping mall like this. Is there a shopping mall, uh, a shopping center, uh, near your accommodation in Ho Chi Minh City now? Yes, it's a uh, we have a a, it's a um mall called, uh, Giga Mall, um, like about. One kilometer far from my place. Okay, one kilometer away from my place. Do you often visit there? No, I don't, because they sell um the products in the mall are usually more expensive than we buy it outside. Okay, so do you go there for the shopping 
window shopping like uh, we don't buy anything we just go uh, browse around I use the yes. word yes yes um, yes browse around window shopping don't buy it just uh, see check for what is the window shopping browse around the, the, the shopping mall uh, now some question about your hometown again tell me where do you come from um, I uh, come from uh, Ling City, Bình Thuận district. Oh, are you Bình sure Ling City? <laughs> are you oh. sure Ling City? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's Ling City. <laughs> Again, Ling Hương. <laughs> Sorry, Ling Hương. Ah, yes. Ah, Ling Hương Town. Ah, Bình Thuận Province. Ah, Tuy Phong District. Tuy Hợp Bạch và Bình Thuận Province. Okay. It's a mountainous area or the coastal area. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's located ah, in the mountains. No, in the mountainous area or uh, coastal area. Well, um, I can say that clearly because we have mountains and we, we are connected to the sea. So maybe it's both mountainous and coastal area. Um, um I, I would say uh mountainous area not in uh Lihu is not in mountainous area because to be exact, it's in Phong Phu. Phong Phu is not Lihu. Yeah. Oh, Phong Phu yeah. is another town. So uh Tui Phong. Ah, uh, from extend, ha, uh, extend from the mountainous area to the coastal area, and Ling Hung Town is in is located, ha, uh, located in the coastal area, coastal area, okay. Or you can say my home is between between. Is in the in the position which is between the mountainous area and the coastal area. At least you one word located, situated, and then you have another word nestled. Again, nestled. Nestled. Yeah, it's been located nestled in the coastal area. Uh, how about the weather in your old town? Well, um, we have, um, I can uh, say that we have um, two seasons clearly. One is, um, one is rainy season and uh, one is dry season. Oh, rainy season and dry season. Uh, yes. So do you think when is the most suitable time of year to visit your hometown in the rainy season or dry season? I think um, the dry season would be the best choice for visitors because um, we have uh, we we have some beaches that can um, uh, make you feel better when it's hot season. Uh -huh. in the in the dry season or in the rainy season. Uh, it's rainy season the is hot, right? Season. No, dry, no, no, season. dry season. Uh, dry season. Okay, uh, so Vietnam is in the tropical, huh? Tropical monsoon. You know, monsoon, guess what? If you study geography, khí hậu. Gió mùa. Đó gió mùa. That's right, that's right, that's right. So Vietnam has uh, tropical monsoon. Oh, to be exactly, it's mean the south of Vietnam, a uh, bên thủng belongs uh, in a uh, geographical ex uh, aspects and Binh Thuong is in the, the central of Vietnam but it's near the border of the south of Vietnam and my hometown has the tropical monsoon climate uh, especially uh, so so it's very hot and humid you know humid when the yeah, okay, hot and humid uh, in the summer. In the oh. summer. Do, do you think it's how our hometown has very extremely cold winter? Uh, cold? No. Or not, okay. not too cold, right? So we say mild. 
Mild, not too cold, not too hot. Mild, comfortable. What does it mean? Uh, correct, correct. In the winter. Mild, winter. And um, I think it's the, the most, the best time of year to visit our hometown is in the winter because the winter is not too cold. It's mild. And as you said that, there are many, uh, there are beach, uh, there are many beaches, uh, along the seaside, the coastal in the coastal area. So the visitors, uh, visitors can, uh, uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery along the coast. Uh, tell me some activities if the visitor visits your hotel in the mild winter. Um, like uh, if, uh, when you're a visitor, you can visitor, you can come in the town. To uh, have some um good that belong only in the town and mm -hmm. I don't know what to say but it's mm -hmm. saying and That's um, right. when you visit the beach you can swim in the sea and uh, enjoy some fresh seafood. Mm okay, some beach activities like uh swimming, good swimming, going fishing and enjoy some. Uh, specialty in our hometown, something special, oh. the kind of food is special, specialty, uh, um, and, uh, you know, it's the coastal area, so it's also famous for fresh seafood, uh, fresh, delicious, fresh and delicious seafood, uh, and, uh, winter and summer, winter weather, weather in the winter and weather in the summer, which is more pleasant? Pleasant. Okay. The ple pleasant, pleasant is mean comfortable. Ah. Oh. Well, I think um the winter would be more comfortable to me because it's like it's very hot in the summer, and um mm. it's not very cold in the winter, so mm. uh, yeah maybe winter is more pleasant. Okay. And uh, do you often visit uh, the seaside, visit the beach? Uh, yes, I do. When I hang out with my friends, we usually uh, ride to the, drive to the beach and uh, just basically um, sit on the seaside to, uh, to, you know, to watch the beach at night, for the beach at night. Okay. Is it at night or at the sunset? Uh, bitch at night. Co completely dark, right? Completely dark? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm feeling the wind. Um, I almost forgot the wind blowing, uh, blowing on the face. Yes. Not this phrase. Okay, we use another phrase. Um, and uh, some people go into our, some people in our hometown, uh, visit um go to the beach to exercise some people want to see uh, want to see want to admire okay uh, want to comfortably enjoyably I want to see the sunrise the sunrise sunrise the moment when the sun rises yeah it looks like yeah in the in the slide guide between the sky and the ocean so the sunrise so see the sunrise and some people uh, admire see the sunset in the late afternoon uh, and I, I give you the word breath taken Oh. Breath taken. Breath taken views. Do you know this word? Yes. Yeah, it's so fantastic. And you need to. Wow, that this is a breath taken view. Breath taken view. And we have the word picture. Picture is a noun. And we have picturesque. Huh. Picturesque. Picturesque is mean extremely beautiful, like a picture, like a picture, 
we said, wow, she's, she's beautiful. Uh, as the one in the picture coming out from the story from now, like this picturesque, picturesque uh, view. Tell me about your view when you uh, go to the beach, the view of the ocean. Uh, when uh, we uh, go to the beach at the afternoon to see the sunrise, uh, um, I think it's not very special because I, um, I have seen it many times, but uh, when we say about it, I feel peace and uh, I feel peaceful and uh, relaxed when I see the view. It's beautiful and it's glamorous. Mm. Mm. Okay, glamorous. Uh, how about the water in your hometown? Is it uh, the water in the ocean is polluted or is it clean and crystal clear? Um, we have a. We only have one area that has. Crystal clear water. A water is um Gou Lao Gou Island, but um most of the more most of the other parts of the home of the hometown is um polluted. Uh, why? Why is is it polluted? Well, because we are a uh, we we have many like um people that they uh use their um ships that runs by oil to uh, catch mm. uh, catch fish for a living mm. and mm. Uh, accidentally the oil just uh, spilled out and uh, it makes the ocean polluted okay so most of the residents in our hometown um, um near the coastal area live on huh? fishing industry live on fishing live on fishing and uh, it's a uh, famous for the fishing industry and uh, many boats and sh big ships uh, go to uh, go far away uh, to the ocean to catch fish so uh the the ocean there suffer from the oil spill oil spill you know the oil spill uh yes, the yes. oil from yeah oil spill and pollutes the ocean and of course because of the uh somehow because of the conditions in our hometown uh which uh, where the maybe the I think maybe there are two reasons. The first one, the citizen awareness. Uh, they are not aware of the pollution impacts, and uh, there are not many. Uh, the government uh, doesn't create the opportunities or good condition for the citizen to know where to throw the garbage. Many citizens, yeah, most of the citizens in our hometown release garbage into the river. It's pollute the river. The river flow to the sea, flow into the sea. It's caused uh, the pollution in the sea too. Oil spill and uh, rubbish, garbage and rubbish the people release into the environment. Um, okay. Are there many? Uh, are there any places for the young people in your hometown to entertain in their free time? Um. Yes, I think we we have in in our hometown we have many cafes, and uh, I see many uh, young people, um, go into the cafe when they are in their free time, especially when it's summer. Mm, in the summer. Yes. What do the people in your hometown usually do in the winter? Um, in the winter, because the weather is not very um severe, so uh, people just um hang out like um the other day in the uh 
usual day. Like it's not very different from every day uh, from uh, days in other season. This when they hang out in yes, a special yeah. day, as um, usual, or a special day. Uh, it is as usual. As usual in the winter, because at that time the weather is mild and it's good for the outdoor activities. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so the first one, the number four, why uh, do you like your hometown or why do you not like your hometown? In this question, you should talk, show me. Uh, what aspect in your hometown that make you like? So why is mean? Tell me something you like about your hometown and something you dislike about your hometown. For example, the beauty of the nature, the atmosphere, the peaceful and clean or polluted and uh, noisy or annoying. Uh, like seafood, uh, specialty, uh, the, the 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 people hospitality. People hospitality, you know the word hospitable. Yes, yes. Yeah, and the people the now is hospitality. It's the way they treat, uh, hospitality. They treat uh, other people from in in the neighborhood or the people from another place. The the hospitality, the seafood, the environment, the atmosphere, are they uh. Uh, entertainment or anything else do you like and you dislike about your hometown uh so uh, first of all i'm i like i like my hometown because uh because the people living there are friendly and mm. they're not, and they're very generous you know and mm. the second part is that um i love the food there it's suit my mm. uh favor a uh, flavor and mm -hmm. of course, um, I have my family living there, so that that's mm -hmm. the reason why I love it. Um, mm -hmm. another part is that, um, I don't like that when um, I don't think I have anything that I don't like about my hometown. But uh, if I have to say is that, uh, uh, uh it's quite boring. Like is um, it doesn't have anything or any place that we can enjoy when uh, um, mm. when on a special occasion mm. and okay. mm. uh, yes there are not many uh, entertaining activities for people to relax and unwind um, relax and unwind unwind is mean relax and feel uncomfortable uh, really stress like this relax and unwind on special occasions. This means people just stay at home mm. uh, and uh, spend the whole day with mm, the normal daily routine, even on special day. What do you often oh. do on holiday? Well, I just, um, I uh, called my uh, friends and asked if they want to hang out with me. And um, mm. I will uh, dress nicely and um, go out with them. Uh, go out with them. Uh, maybe if if we are in the mood, we would uh drive to uh another town like Pangri and uh just hang out there. Okay, I also like the food in our hometown. It suits my taste too. Uh, when I I lived in another city. Uh, for several years in the past, I realized that no place in Vietnam offer good food for me, uh, except my hometown. Maybe our hometown food is special, special, or maybe we grow up uh, in this place. This means we are familiar with the kind of the food, uh, the way the food is made. Another thing is that our hometown uh, our hometown's people is quite generous and um, hospitable. Uh, they are good. They are will. They are willing to have other people in. Uh, if they come uh, across the uh, difficulties in their life, and the thing I don't like is the first one. 
uh, I don't think it's boring during the holiday because uh, you know I'm an introvert person. I spend most of my time in my hometown, so I I, I don't share with you the same uh idea. Yeah, you feel boring. I think it's okay. It's not more because I don't go out. Even I live in a big city. The thing I don't like is that the typhoon. You know. Storm. No. Oh. Okay, typhoon or storm. This means the tropical storm. Tropical oh. storm. Okay. Because the our hometown is in the local area, this means uh, every year uh, people in that place suffering from the danger of the tropical storm or the typhoon during the rainy season, for example, like now. And every time the storm uh comes to our hometown i feel very worried so i think it's the the the, the risky uh situation that i feel i don't like about this but i hope that everything will go smoothly will be okay to all the citizens in our hometown uh okay where, where are you living now i'm living in uh in the city in the uh, district okay. <laughs> really? Oh, no. no, 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 no. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, do you like this place? Mm, kind of, because uh, it's just so busy and noisy. I don't like it here. Mm. The atmosphere is fresh. Oh, yes. Atmosphere is fresh, right? In Manhattan, uh, is it polluted? No, no, no. It's uh, near a uh, big road, and uh, many trucks drive um drive through it every day. So the atmosphere is kind of polluted. Mm, okay. Who else do you live with? Or are you living with recently? Um, I'm living with my uh friend. She's um the same age as me, as mm. me. She's in the same class as you at university or high school. Um, she was in the same uh, uh school at uh with me before, but now she's studying in um uh in another university. Mm, okay. Um. So now you live in the rented room in the big city because you need to live far away from your hometown and study at university. Um, yes. How about your house in your hometown? How many rooms are there in your hometown and what is your favorite room? Um, there are like, well, um, there are like about five rooms in the house in hometown. And um, mm -hmm. I like to spend my time most in the living room because it is quite Mm. Uh, it's quite white and uh, bright. White and and bright. Sorry, thank you. Ah, uh, bright. Okay, so we will um, you say bright and spacious. Huh? Oh. spacious and white. But we say spacious. It's provider. Uh, comfortable. Uh, comfortable area that you can do everything in that place. You feel like, oh, it's so big, it's so large that you can lie, you can do everything. It's a little kind of picture, it's not narrow, uh, bright and spacious, and you can do a lot of things. And it's also the place for you and family gather together and enjoy many interesting activities. I use it after a day I uh, return to my hometown. I enjoy the moments when I spend time with my family in the uh, living room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like your bedroom? Is it tidy or untidy in your hometown? It's, uh, it's uh, kind of tidy, but uh, I don't usually leave, uh, sleep in my bedroom. I sleep with my uh, mom in the living room at night. Okay, stay with my mom. Uh, you live in the house, you live in the place, but you stay at home. Okay, stay, stay. Okay. 
This the action because some of you uh I live in hometown but I stay in the rented room. I I mean uh, most of my time uh I stay at home. Or you can say uh I don't stay in my bedroom most of the time. I mainly stay with my mom in the living room. Okay. Uh, uh does your home bring you a cozy feeling? Like a cozy uh, atmosphere or ambience? I give you this word, atmosphere, ambience. Do you feel the cozy atmosphere uh, when you are staying in the living room with your mom? Uh, mm. Yes. <laughs> Reluctantly, reluctantly, you say yes. Uh, what do you often do when you stay in the living room? Talking with, talking to, chatting with her, or just uh, surf the internet and watch the videos? Um, well, when it's, uh, I usually um, um, sit, sit by her side and uh, chatting with her. Maybe we mm -hmm. were usually talk about my dad and my sister or sometimes I just um sit, sit there by her side and uh, surf in the internet okay uh, what do you like about your house and what do you not like about your house um, I love my house because it's close to me and um, I have lived there like um, since the first day of my life and um, mm. I don't think I have anything that I hate about my house. It's good oh. enough for me. Mm, okay. This is also the place to save the memories as since you was a child until now with your family members. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, if I... I'm a person who from another province come into Lingbung and find a place to live. Uh, would you recommend me a house or apartment? Uh, so, uh -huh. Sorry, I asked another question. If I come from another place, I come to Lingbung. So which place in Lingbung would you recommend me to find? Well, if you're if you're about to uh, stay in a town for a long time, I think I would take you to some uh, uh, house houses for rent. But when mm -hmm. but if you are like you just spend your time in the town for like a um for uh on on holiday, well, mm -hmm. I will take you to um, some hotel or motel. Mm -hmm. Is it expensive? Uh, I don't know much about motel or hotels, but the one near my house, which is called Lin Cheng, um, mm. she said that it's about two hundred thousand dong for a night. Mm. Okay, two hundred thousand dong is not so expensive compared to uh the rent in big cities, but I think it's quite uh. Uh, costly, costly is more expensive um, compared to the average income in our hometown. But as a visitor from another place, I think it's okay, reasonable. Uh, so if I am, if your friend, uh, if your friend visit your hometown because you uh, invite her, maybe your friend invite her to uh, visit your hometown, explore many places in your hometown. Would you recommend her your house? Yeah, or you just recommend her a, a hotel or motel to stay for several days? Well, I think I will uh, take her to um, maybe a hotel because I don't want to share my room with some someone <laughs> else. Like it's yeah. my personal place. Mm. So you don't like uh, the feeling sharing a room with someone else. 
Yes, ah, yes. Okay, preserve it for yourself. Don't share it with anyone else, okay? Yes, uh, yes. In the future, if you had the chance, if you had the chance, it mean, uh, so I would say in the future, it means the first, uh, the first uh, condition. So I would say now, now, I talk about now. So I use the second conditional sentence. If you had the chance, it means if you had money now, maybe, uh, would yeah. you move your house or you still remain stay in your house? Well, I will. I think I would stay in my house because uh, I don't want. Uh, I don't. I don't like the feeling when I go to another places, and I think that I. I and I have to spend my life there. I don't. I don't like that kind of feeling. Uh, and mm -hmm. I will use the money to buy something else. Maybe a uh -huh. expensive car. Uh -huh. And if it when you had a lot of money, you would uh, spend money renovating your house. Renovating your house means you make it more modern and more uh, convenience for your life. By buying some facilities and amenities and modern devices, appliances in your house. Yes. Mm. Would you want to uh, try, this mean, uh, maybe move to another place, exploring the new place, experience the new lifestyle, accumulate your life experience until one day you feel like, oh, I miss my hometown and then you return? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, in the future, I will, uh, because I'm young and I have time and health to explore the world, to learn new things. And mm -hmm. I think in the future, I would, uh, I will, I will move to another place to live there for like a few years to uh, mm -hmm. learn about uh, things and uh, get some uh, lifelong experience. Then um, mm. and, and make some money to make some money. Then I will go mm. back to my hometown and live there forever. Okay. The, in the future, when you uh, grow older, you have a job, graduation, well, graduated from the university, graduated from the university, have a job, then you find a partner of your life, start a family. That time you have your own family. Would you return to your hometown and buy a house? Or you will live with your mom or just uh, remain staying in the big city buying a, buying a house and just visit your hometown several days during the year? Well, um, it's um, up to, it's based on the job that I'm having, having at the moment. But when it uh, when it's not about the job, I will maybe I will try to uh, convince my husband to uh, move to my uh, hometown with me. Maybe I will buy a house next to uh, my um, family house and uh, live near my parents. Okay, we're talking about their job and then buying a house. I just think of one thing I don't like in our hometown, like uh, that is. Even it's the ideal place for people to live and enjoy the peaceful environment, it is not good for young people because there are so not many uh, job opportunities for people to develop. Would you prefer to return to your hometown and change your major? Uh, if, if there is no job for your current major, this means you cannot find a job which match, matches your major now. Well, um, if there aren't any job that um, can provide me in the hometown, I think mm. maybe I will work in the city for a long time to mm. save up enough money. And mm. in the same time, I think I will learn something that can uh, help me when I quit the job in the city and go back to the hometown. Okay. If you really, uh, you share with me, you're really... Uh, your real want, you wish that you want to return to our hometown and live the rest of your life in the future. So I recommend you need to study a foreign language so excellently because foreign language opened the door, the new door for you. Maybe you would find a job opportunities online. 
But uh, in the condition that you need to have an excellent foreign language skill, maybe English, maybe Chinese, in the future, you would find your own way. Uh, you know, working online offer people a lot of uh, options. You can work in the city, in the small village, as long as you can work online. It's okay. Uh, I think your major can find a job online as long as you have good language skills. So now specifically in the skill. Uh, wow. Okay, the next one. In the future, on, uh, okay, so in your preference as the thing you want, uh, you would you like to live alone? This means by yourself. Or you like to live with your families or friends? Well, um, to me, I cannot stand the feeling of living alone and because I want to share the moments with someone else in my life. Like my friends, mm -hmm. I want to share the difference, I, the difficult things and um, mm -hmm. the long, uh, lonely feeling when I have to move away from the house to study. Uh, I want to share mm -hmm. the feeling with her. And maybe in the future, mm -hmm. when I come back to the hometown, I uh, maybe I will just live with my family. Just mm -hmm. you know, I can okay. I cannot be lonely. Uh, you cannot be lonely. Uh, lonely is when you feel sad when you stay alone, and uh, oh. alone, alone is mean uh, only you. So it's a lonely and a lonely and alone is different. You feel lonely, right? If yes, yeah, okay. If you are not with anyone else, so you need a companion, huh? Companionship, companionship is mean the situation you have someone to, uh, you have someone accompany with you. Companionship, um, so you need a companionship. So you like to, you prefer to, uh, spend the space with uh, your friends at present because you need to study at university and then in the future you would return and live with your family. Do you think it's good for people to live alone sometime? Uh, maybe yes, because mm -hmm. um, I always feel that um, everyone needs some time alone to recover from the um, society life. Mm -hmm. uh, recovery? Yes, recovery. You mean the life or adapt or? It's like, um, uh, uh, it? Hold overcome, forth. overcome. Huh? Oh, yes. Hold yes, over <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain okay. more about this? Uh, like uh, when uh, we live in a um, society, we have to act right. Like uh, we uh, shouldn't uh, be, uh, mm, so we, we have to follow the rules when we live uh -huh. in society. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, when uh, we have time along, we will uh, spend time for ourselves to um, mm -hmm. about the, to be the real person. Um, so when uh, we are alone, uh, we know we understand ourselves you know the yeah. real person in your in, you know uh, the the real you <laughs> you know the real you not the person you disguise when you are with other people uh yeah. you tell me the society maybe you learn how to be independent yeah. huh. independent this means you can you can space you can survive, you can handle the problem with yourself, by yourself, on your own, without any other people, uh, people's help, assistance. No one help you. You need to survive. You learn how to be independent. Living alone, living alone sometimes offers people independence. Uh, and living with other people uh, provides you uh, companionship where you can get support um, from other people whenever you have problems or difficulties 
Okay. Um, homework for you. First, remember to write down the words. Ah, you you need to read. I, I mean that some words are new to you, so you study. Some words yeah. are old to you, but you need to write down because you need to revise the spelling. Ah, I, I had the problem when I don't write down and then I take a uh, writing test. I don't know how to write down. I just know how to read, how to listen, how to write, uh, how to speak, but I forgot the spelling. So write this uh, until one day I give you another task. First, write the words. Uh, some maybe uh, you don't need to write all of them. Just write about 50%, okay? 50% uh, of the words from the list. Uh, pick up 50% of the word from the list. So maybe you, maybe you think it's, you need to use again in future, but you can. It's oh. difficult for you to call out a second time. Uh, the next time, uh, try to look uh, for the sample answer. I know that you know how to answer these questions, but I want you to look for the sample answer. Maybe from ChatGPT, it provides you more advanced vocabulary. Okay. So uh -huh. exercise seven, don't do the test. Don't do the test like this. This is so easy to you. I want you to give your own answer. Six questions, five six questions. A uh, second, somehow it's the similar, but you also need to read the questions. Sometimes it's similar, sometimes it's, uh, we can develop the questions with different ideas. As a repair, I mean, I want you to look for some words for you support you for exercise seven, eight, huh? and then 13. Okay? Yeah. It's the preparation for the next lessons. I want you to express your idea fluently and using more words that make your sample, uh, your answer more and more perfect. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. I'll see you next okay. lesson. Okay, thank you.